to that later. So, we got Tree Hugger versus Moodle right now. They are starting on Pokemon Stadium 2, giving each other a lot of space. Now, again, normally uh, I think that's good for the character that can make better use of the space with uh, a lot of speed. I think in this case, that's game mode. Because it's not like Wolf can really rely on this blaster to project on camp. Because we got the bucket, we got the oil pan. So far, pretty even. Slight advantage for Tree Hair, but he's gonna die a lot sooner. And there's the chair that's gonna close out the stock. Excellent placement of the four tilt by Tree Hugger. And now Moodle is gonna have to think of a way to uh, both damage control and at the same time set up situations where he can get a kill. Uh, looks like just rolling it down, smashing like that's not gonna work. But Tree Hugger, uh, a little too excited to bake that delicious old crunchy, crunchy bacon. Getting a duff in the back of his head. By, of course, that big wolf back there. That's gonna be a grab from Tree Hugger. Can he get a combo? Yes, he can. There's the fishbowl. And he's buried. He's buried. And he catches the forward smash. Fortunately for him, it was cross stage, so no stock quite yet. I wonder, I wonder if Tree Rugger would have had the time to roll behind an F smash instead of just straight up F smash. Here come the bombs. A pretty terrible move, but it looks cool. Yogurt's on the run again. Kind of game watching, you know. Kind of run away, kind of in and out, trying to bait him to do some stuff. And a down smash is actually straight up gonna take the stock. No bury required. We just get a lot of knockback with a terrible, terrible angle. But Moodle, that's the kind of calm, reactive stock taking you need when you have, uh, when you are in a stock deficit. Here's Trihugger back with the bacon and with the combos. But bacon is no match for big steel feet. That wolf Nair is just gonna cut right through. Just the laser. And the big old force bomb. Moodle is gonna take that, you know? That's um, that's interesting because Tree Hugger was ahead pretty much the entirety of the game. So once again, Chris Hansen, have a seat. Oh, that's Wolf of One with the subscription. I'll give you a shout out in a minute when I can get back to the commentator camp. You know, maybe, maybe I can actually do it. Maybe I can actually make it in the meantime. Let's get it. Wolf of One, thank you so much for being subscribed three months in a row. Very much appreciated. Very much appreciated. Um, you know, a little sad that you're dropping in Cinnabar. Gotta tell it because I think he's a cool character, but it's not like I don't understand. Because he's, he's not that good. He's not that good. But thank you so much for subscribing. Well, you know what we do. You know what we do. So uh, all I can, all I really can say is, all I really have to say is, thank you for your support. Uh, sacrifices do. Ooh. Sacrifices do have to be made. You are one hundred percent right about that. <laughs> Thompson didn't know. Thompson didn't know. Well, you know, we, we, we aren't all privileged with a top tier main. So you may not even understand the, the thought of dropping your main. But, uh, well, there it is. 
Again, if uh, any people have uh, requests for music in uh, the background lobby, uh, be sure to let us know and I'll happily oblige. Tell me how you feel about Wolf of Hunt dropping Incineroar, Tommy. Tell me how you feel about it. <laughs> oh, you should have played Samus, what can I tell you? you should have played Samus. Samus is a wonderful character. Hey, focus, focus, focus camera. There we go. Okay, looks like we are getting back in to the match. Game number two. Moodle is up 1-0 to Tree Hugger. After Tree Hugger uh, had the lead, you know, not a big lead, but he had the lead pretty much the entire game one. Let's see if we can actually close it out here in, uh, in game two. Far, Moodle is still looking pretty dominant. It's like he um, he's just carrying over the momentum from the last talk in game one to uh, to game two here. But it looks like Trigger's slightly waking up a little. He's got 40%. He's got a nice juggle just now. Turtle is coming out, but Moodle's still in control, and now he has Tree Hugger at the ledge. More nairs, more nairs. Amazing, amazing move. There's Trigger with the lightning quick normal get a grab. You know, sometimes it can be pretty hard to uh, to tell what exactly Game & Watch is doing. You know, it's, he, it, he, he does take the time to get there, but sometimes you don't really see it. You know, he just appears there due to the way his animations work. But looks like Moodle is uh, not gonna be uh, flustered by that at all. Getting the back throw kill on Trigger to start off game two with a lead. And he's been getting very confident in, uh, in the blaster use, despite the oil panic, of course, being an option. As long as, long as that bucket is empty, you know, I suppose you can go for it. There is the turtle edge guard. It's gonna be very hard to uh, correctly tag those multi-hit moves. This makes him fantastic for stage spikes. Tree hugger. Trying to even it up even further. He gets the forward air connect. That's big damage. And the down smash almost gonna take it. Cross stage at like 60%? <laughs> okay, okay, a little more probably, but still, but still. Um, all I'm trying to say is, Tree hugger really can't afford to take another one of those. Big beautiful back air by Moodle. Gonna get him the stock lead once again. Let's see if Trigger can get that grab he craves to start his fishbowl combos. Still no oil panics coming out from uh, Trigger to try and, uh, and absorb these blast hits. I'm, uh, I cannot but wonder, you know, maybe sometimes when you're at a distance like that, you should just pull out the bucket just to show him that you're willing, you know, to charge up your oil panic. But I guess you could just bank everything on an edge guard because Tree Hacker is getting some pretty nice results with that. Now he's opting for the crouch to get around the blaster. Let's see if it works out for him. Turtle punish. Oh, okay. The Game Watch crouch also going underneath the wolf grab, almost dying to uh, a charge down smash, you know, waiting for him to drop shield smart stuff. Ah, he gets back on stage with the trampoline to fishbowl landing. He still has a chance, especially if he gets a bury with the down smash. Let's find out so far. Oh, oh okay, that was a deep commitment to an edge guard, you know. It uh, gave Moodle a free pass back on stage. And that's gonna be the end of Free Hacker. I do understand why he went for that edge guard, but you know, sometimes it just doesn't work out. As Moodle takes it 2-0.